Hello everyone! I hope you're all doing well. I have some interesting news to share with you. There are rumors that DeAndre Hopkins, one of the best American football players in the NFL, may join the Dallas Cowboys. According to three league executives, Hopkins could receive around $9 to $10 million, half of what he was previously making. Although it's just a guess, the possibility is feasible. DeAndre Hopkins is one of the most talented players in the NFL. He played for the Houston Texans for seven seasons before being traded to the Arizona Cardinals in 2020. Hopkins is known for his exceptional receiving skills and is considered one of the best wide receivers in the league. The possibility of Hopkins joining the Dallas Cowboys is interesting as the team has one of the largest fan bases in the NFL and is known for its history of success. The Cowboys have already won five Super Bowls and are one of the most valuable teams in the league. Additionally, the Cowboys have one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, Dak Prescott, who recently signed a four-year contract worth $160 million. However, the signing of Hopkins could be a challenge for the Cowboys, as they already have several high-paid players and the NFL salary cap is a maximum limit of spending that each team can have on players. If they exceed this limit, they can be penalized and lose draft picks. The timing of the season and the Cowboys' salary cap space are also important factors to consider. During the offseason, players may receive less than at other times of the year as there is less demand for their services. The Cowboys have one of the largest salary caps in the NFL, but if they want to sign Hopkins, they will have to find a way to balance their budget. However, if the Cowboys' goal is to go all-in, meaning to spend more money to have a greater chance of winning the Super Bowl, Hopkins would be a good choice. He is one of the best wide receivers in the league and can help the Cowboys win more games. Additionally, the team has one of the largest fan bases in the NFL and is known for its history of success, having won five Super Bowls. The signing of Hopkins could be a good choice for the Cowboys, as he is an exceptional player and can help the team win more games. However, the Cowboys will have to find a way to balance their budget and ensure that they do not exceed the NFL salary cap. Elliott was one of the highest paid players on the team, but had a below average season in 2020. As the Cowboys decided to cut him, they saved about $9.6 million in salary cap space. Another option for the Cowboys would be to restructure the contracts of some players. This would involve renegotiating the contracts of high-paid players to reduce the salary value in 2021 and increase the value in future years. This would allow the Cowboys to keep their high-level players and still open up salary cap space. However, restructuring contracts can have long-term consequences. This can lead to an increase in salary value in future years, which can make it difficult to maintain high-level players in the future. Additionally, restructuring contracts can lead to a loss of flexibility in the future, which can make it difficult to sign new players. If the Cowboys decide to sign Hopkins, they will have to weigh the pros and cons and find a way to balance their budget. However, if they can sign Hopkins for around $10 million, it would be a good choice for the Cowboys, who already have one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Dak Prescott. Additionally, the signing of Hopkins can help the Cowboys win more games and get closer to the goal of winning the Super Bowl. Hopkins is an exceptional player and can be an important piece in the team's offense. Additionally, the Cowboys have one of the largest fan bases in the NFL and are known for their history of success, having won five Super Bowls. I hope you enjoyed this news about DeAndre Hopkins and his possible move to the Dallas Cowboys. If you like this content, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new content. I would also love to hear your opinions in the comments, so don't hesitate to share your ideas and suggestions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video!